Hello and welcome back to Crow Wing FPV. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick little comparison between the penetration of the Shark Bite HD Zero uh, TX5 S.1 uh, Whoop module on my 95X version 3 versus the analog system that I have on my Cloud 149 which is running a Rush FPV uh, Tank Ultimate 800 milliwatts. Now, on the Beta 95X with the Shark Bite, I'm running at 200 milliwatts, and on the Rush FPV, I am also running it at 200 milliwatts. But I will also run it at 800 milliwatts, just just to, just to compare, just to see if there's much of a difference. Um, but yeah, I decided I was going to jump onto this and do one of these. I know there's tons of comparisons with shark bite versus analog and shark bite versus dji and shark bite versus this and that and whatever but i'm also a person who uses youtube to make a decision on something that i'm going to purchase by looking at reviews however i never go by just one single review i use multiple reviews and i make an educated guess from there if i'm going to purchase it or not so I figured I would throw this in to the pool and have another review out there that is another one that you can go by. And hopefully it, it helps in a sense. And that's what I'm here for. Um, now, I didn't get scientific with this. Uh, it's more, uh, I don't know, redneckical. Um, all I did was I flew on the other side of a pavilion at the at the park that I generally fly at to obscure or block the signal and see how well it actually goes through this building. And kind of surprised at, at the difference. It really did kind of surprise me. So uh, we'll see, we'll see just what happens. So enjoy. Okay, so for those of you who are more detail oriented or like the scientific approach or whatnot, here is the current atmospheric conditions of the flight so just figured i'd throw that out there for you all right so here i have both the analog and digital running at 200 milliwatts and as you can see the breakup is i don't know i, I think the, the shark bite did a better job with this um i think analog actually didn't do quite as good at 200 milliwatts and here we are with the same digital at 200 milliwatts and analog at 800 milliwatts. And this is where I got surprised. I figured the 800 milliwatts would have done a lot better than, than this. But, I don't know. You guys make the choice. I kind of like that shark bite. Not going to lie.